Fight Corner. We've got a guy that is making noise all over the country in the last couple of weeks, and not only because of the amazing product uh, he's helped develop here, because of the challenge that's being levied right now. And we're online here on the Fight Corner with World Series of Fighting President Ray Seppo. Uh, Ray, thanks so much for joining us today on the corner. Uh, first of all, it's got to be a big time of year. Not only do you have a fight card coming up here uh, very shortly, but you've also gotten yourself in the middle of a little um, a battle of words going back and forth with Bellator. Uh, Ray, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Um, Wait, were you just speaking you know, Japanese? Well, yeah, I just said good morning, everybody. Oh, okay. Oh, hi, oh. Come on, going, Kairos, guys. I must do. Konnichiwa. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, yeah, no, you know, we, we put out a challenge, and, um, um, you know, I, I, again, this kind of stemmed from some sort of uh, uh, words of going back and forth between Young and, and, and Ali, our matchmaker, and, um, so we're like, okay, you know, and so Ali talked to me about uh, putting this chantry, uh, challenge together. I'm like, yeah. Then when we, when we sat down and some of the, the names that were snatched up, I, I, I like the card. And um, when it was put out there, uh, I mean, the, the fans, everybody, you know, uh, responded to it. The, the media, the, the fans, and uh, I, I personally think it's great for the sport. Fantastic. Yeah, I think it's amazing, and I'll tell you what, Ray. You know, and, and you know, I'm 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 on board with you, but I don't think right now I would pay for a World Series of Fighting pay per view, and I and I wouldn't do it for Bellator. But something like this is so exciting, it's so groundbreaking that you know it gets fans across the board excited to where you have people that wouldn't put in the money now they're jumping to pay for it. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, I 100 percent agree. Um, you know, somebody asked me about uh, you know if this doesn't come through, we are we looking to do pay per view? I'm like, listen, you know, uh, we, we've, uh, I've said all along from day one, we'll tell you baby states at the time and, uh, pay per view scenario, if that happens, uh, and they happen uh, in another couple of years, uh, who knows, you know what I mean? But, um, we, we're just focusing on, you know, continuing to, um, promote the brand and, and, and our fighters and, and everybody else that's involved. Speaking of baby steps, Ray, one of the things we had talked about when you were last on the show was kind of going through these tournament processes with a lot of the fighters in order to determine who the true contenders were of World Series of Fighting. But now it seems that the title shots are coming out fast and furious, uh, including the women's bout with the the first women's bout being for a title. Uh, I'm just curious, what went into the choice to change the, the tournaments into just giving direct title shots? Well, um, uh, you know, originally we 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 did talk about that kind of tournament spot, and um, and when we looked at it again, and, and you know, Bellator does the tournament style, and uh, we figured, you know what, let's let's just keep it um, the, the normal way things are done, and let's just start off like that, and then we'll progress as we move forward um, with the female fight. Uh, having to, you know, sign the number one, one fifteen counter in the world, uh, in Jessica Egler, uh, it only made sense for us to have, you know, a, a, a woman title fight right off the bat. So, um, you know, we obviously, you know, we crowned two champions already, uh, in Steve Collin and, um, and Georgie Kavakanian. And, you know, these guys are, you know, phenomenal fighters. And, uh, I think, uh, we needed to do that also because, when you have fighters that's climbing that ranking, uh, they got something to look forward to. Uh, uh, they they want to be champions. Ray, this is this is Dave, and I just I have to follow up here on your statement there, and you're talking about climbing through the rankings. You know, one of the things that we talked about here on the program was was your you know real desire to see depth in the divisions. Now, when you go right to a championship without actually building a division, how viable is the championship? Well, again, that's a good question, um, but. Um, you can't deny, you know, Jessica Eggler being the number one contender. Um, and, you know, also, her becoming a champion, or even, I mean, listen, we can't count out um, Anita Gray, because Anita Gray is uh, <laughs> uh, from what I hear. I haven't seen any footage of Anita Gray, but uh, from what I hear from Ali, she can, she can knock a guy out. So, you know, <laughs> uh, so, you know she's obviously going to be a handful for Jessica. Uh, that being said, I think what would happen is uh, when we have when we crown this champion, more women are going to come out of the woodworks, and more women. Uh, again, you know, I've been contacted uh, from 
women in Europe and, 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 and so on. So, you know, already this uh, a vibe going on with that, um, with that title fight happening. Excellent. Uh, one of the title fights that I'm waiting for and anticipating is the bantamweight title fight uh, that we had discussed not too far back. You and I, uh, I believe we were at a fight watching something, and I had discussed Marlon Moraes with you. And you said that at bantamweight that he is probably the, the next guy that will get a title shot there. So I'm curious if there's any possible opponent that the World Series of Fighting has um thought about for him or even perhaps one of the fights from the World Fighting uh, World Series of Fighting 8 card could possibly uh, be a title eliminator. Yeah, right now, I mean, uh, Cody Bollinger and, um, and Tyson Nam is, you know, uh, obviously those guys those guys are going to go at it and um, Ali and I are going to sit back and see um, how they, they perform on the night and if they do well, whatever comes out on top and, and they put on an amazing fight, I think um, uh, they'll probably be um, uh, Marlon Reyes is opponent. I'll tell you what, uh, just coming out the gates, that's that's probably one of the fights on this card I'm most excited about. Uh, we've seen Tyson Nam against Marlon in the past, but the thought of a possible Col- Cody Bollinger versus Marlon Reyes uh, matchup just has me excited. It just screams fight of the night, fight of the year candidate, all out war. Right. Um, you know, and I don't want to be biased and count Tyson out, but, uh, you know, I saw him against Marlon, and, and, you know, I think this fight against Cody will be incredible, but, but, um, I'm I'm hoping I'm not hoping I'm just excited for this fight and I'd love to see a Cody Marlin matchup. Right, um, you know I agree and and again you know um, you know the fight game is the fight game. Um, Tyson Nam wasn't able to obviously put things together when he fought Marlin last and um, got caught with a head kick early. So you know you um, again I don't know I I think um, I think we're going to see a, a better Tyson Nam. I think he's going to come out guns blazing. And um and because now he's looking at that title shot, you know now suddenly now it means even more so. So you you never know. But like you said, you know Cody and uh, Marlon will be a great fight too because it hasn't happened. Well, let's talk about this weekend's fight card. Uh, World Series of Fighting Eight going down this Saturday night on NBC Sports main event. Justin the Highlight Gaethje. Here's a kid who's just been tearing up the the division. One of the hottest prospects in MMA. Taking on a kid who kind of flew under the radar, Rich Petitionock. And Rich was a was an underdog in his last two appearances, taking on two different families of the Gracie member, Gracie family, and just looked impressive, defeating both of them. Um, tell us about this matchup. How excited for you? And, and just give us your thoughts on it. Well, yeah, actually, um, you know, when I look at um, Rich Petitionock. Um, he reminds me of, uh, I go back in the pride days of, uh, Psycho Rubber. You know, he was known as the, uh, Gracie Killer. And, um, <laughs> I think, uh, Rich has already been kind of like, um, he's been kind of somewhat, uh, given that name by certain fans. Uh, that being said, you know, he's, he's facing, he's facing, uh, a guy across the cage that, uh, I think, he, you know, I call him the, uh, the white Mike Tyson. <laughs> every, every time that, uh, Justin gets in there, He's hunting you down, and he's making sure he's going to win at all costs. Uh, I mean, he's there to, to, to put you away. He, he's not there to, you know, wrestle or play around. He's there to knock you out. Well, Ray, uh, something I was curious about is you had discussed on the conference call the debuts of Husam Polyaris and Yushin Okami. I was wondering for those March cards that are coming up if you've uh, found any opponents for them yet. Um, right now there are, there are names that, uh, there's a couple of opponents, um, uh, but, um, obviously that's, uh, it's not 100% confirmed yet. Um, our team's reaching out to certain guys. And so when that gets, uh, confirmed, we will we will definitely give you guys heads up. Well, there was two opponents names dropped for Paul Yaris and, uh, and, uh, Yushin Okami, and those were Bellator fighters. Um, and, and so I want to kind of jump back to the Bellator challenge because, uh, you know, it got me excited. I'm still excited that, you know, um, have you heard anything at all, not just from Bjorn, but from anywhere in the, anyone in the Bellator division? Are they taking this serious? Are they just kind of just ignoring it, acting like it don't exist? Is there any possible chance in your mind that, that this could actually come to fruition? Um, to be quite honest, I haven't heard a word. Um, you know, uh, a few, Reporters have asked the same question, and uh, and they're also surprised that they haven't heard anything. Uh, we haven't heard anything, so it might not happen. You know what I mean? And uh, and I understand why they're going to protect their brand, and uh, it is what it is. But 
uh, you know, um, you never know because sometimes it, you know, people will sit back and then and wait and wait and wait and out of the blue suddenly they, uh, they, they, you know, they say, okay, we'll make it happen. So you never know. Um, I'm not sure um, if Ali had heard anything, but I, as far as I, I'm concerned, I haven't heard a word or or um, anybody reporting about it other than the. Other than the fans, um, you know, screaming for it to happen. <laughs> well, I mean, since you guys opened up Pandora's box by putting this out there, I, I assume the fans are going to scream for it to happen. And, Ray, uh, you know, we'd always love to have you back here. Anytime you've got late-breaking news on World Series of Fighting, this potential uh, pay-per-view card against Bellator, which, as we've talked about here numerous times on the show, would be fantastic to watch. From a fan's perspective, love to hear about it. Best of luck to you guys. Again, like Joey mentioned, World Series of Fighting 8 going on this Saturday night, January 18th. Uh, that's coming from Hollywood, Florida. Not the Hollywood, California, but Hollywood, Florida. Check that out on NBC Sports. Thanks so much for coming on to the MMA Fight Quarter, Ray. Thank you, guys.